This class is about cutting a single point thread that's tapered. With the OmniTurn, the standard G33 code is used to cut both straight threads and taper threads. The only thing that's added to the code is an A value for the amount of travel in X that you're going to have over the entire stroke of Z. While this sounds complicated, it's not really. So let's work through the steps that you have to go through to get to a tapered thread. First, we're going to look at all the components that go into making up the G33 code for the taper thread. Before we have the G33, we have the starting position before we go into cutting the thread. Shown here is a value for the starting position in X. So we have to calculate where we are in X based on the taper. We also have to calculate the ending location in X for the G33X value. The starting location in Z is much simpler. Here we are 200 thousandths off the face of the part to allow the servos enough time to ramp up to speed so we're getting the right pitch. The length of stroke in Z is a simple lookup in a chart. So you find a chart that shows, like in this example, an MPT thread and we'll see how much stroke we need. And finally I'll show you how to calculate the A value. In this slide, it's represented by that little red line that's vertical. So let's start with going to a chart that you can find either on the internet or on the machinist handbook that shows some of the dimensions for your NPT thread. In this case, we're going to be cutting a 1 8 NPT. And we can see on the chart that this major diameter of the thread is going to be 0.405. So this will be the major diameter of the thread at the largest point or the end of the thread for this external example. Next we can see that the length of thread is 3 eighths approximately. So for this example I'm going to use 0.4. It's only 25 thousandths difference and it makes the math a lot easier. Now we get to calculate the scariest part of this which is the total travel in X. Well it's really not that bad. The standard taper for a pipe thread is three quarters of an inch per foot. And if you do a little math to backtrack that down to one inch of stroke, you get 62 thousandths or one sixteenth of an inch per inch of stroke. So in our example here, we have 400 thousandths travel in the part, 200 thousandths in front of it, so 600 thousandths total. So we do a little math to calculate the total amount of travel in X. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.062 comes out to 0.0375. This will be our stroke in X for the length of thread that we have to cut. Since we know the major diameter at the end of the thread is 0 0.405, we can now calculate the starting diameter only at the front of the part by subtracting 0 0.0375 from that, and we come up with 0.3675. The last piece of the puzzle is going to be the finish diameter in X at the start of the part. So we have to calculate or figure out or find how much material we're going to take total from the start diameter to the finish. So in the machinist handbook, there's this nifty chart that shows the height of the thread. So we look it up and then we can calculate our finish diameter in X. The chart shows that we have about 27 thousandths depth for the thread. So 54 thousandths off the start diameter will give us the finish diameter. So we end up with 314 as our finish diameter. The only items left for us to do are the I and K values. The I is the amount of infeed per pass to start. So we're going to give it a pretty standard 0.025 or 0.03, uh, which is off the diameter to start and will automatically get smaller as it goes into the root of the thread. The K value is the number of thousands per revolution that we're going to advance the threading tool. So since this is 27 threads per inch, we're going to take 1 divided by 27 to come up with the value for K. So in this example, it will be 0.037. And then we have everything we need for this threading cycle. If there's anything else you'd like to learn about for OmniTurn, OmniTurn programming, applications, tooling, layouts, please drop me a line at jrichlin at gmail.com and I'll be happy to answer your questions or post another video vignette. Thank you.